Hi guys, so we are here today at the Mitsubishi Philippines event where they are launching the new Mitsubishi Triton. So let's have a look-see. I'm gonna experiment with this new POV setup thing. So yeah, hopefully it'll make reviews easier so we can just get in, get the review, get out. So here are the test units that we'll be able to look at later. Want to look at the engine? Let's have a look-see. What's that? Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that big boy! Such a big boy. Oh, top mount? Oh, top mount. Alright. So I was assigned to put it under sunlight, so... <laughs> Let's go anyway. It's not to review it, guys. I am not starting my review yet. We're just moving the car. Okay, good. It's got electric seats. Got your super select over here. Is the steering tilt and telescopic. Yes, it is. Very good. Uh, where is my optimal driving position? There. Put my seatbelt on because safety. Where do we go? Staging? Oh, there. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna use the car for a shoot, apparently. So let's let them finish that before we continue our walk around video thing. Oh, yeah, just a little bit of uh, expectation settings. We are not the only people here uh, that are lined up to test drive the Triton. So what that means is I might not be able to cover all of the features and test them out because we're only allocated uh, one hour per entity. Actually, while we are waiting for them to finish, why don't I tell you guys the spec sheet already so we can get that out of the way and we can focus on the test drive later. So here is the spec sheet as per Mitsubishi. Alright guys, this is the Mitsubishi website. Uh, you guys can go to mitsubishimotors.com.ph yourselves. So we're not really gonna like super dwell on the website. I'll just show you guys a quick overview of what the Triton is before we test drive it. So this here is the all new Triton. It starts at 1.134 million pesos for the base model. So going down here, uh, we can see these are the current promos uh, you can get when you avail of uh, Triton. And then going down, here are our variants. This is the Athlete 4-wheel drive automatic 1.9M. This is what we're going to test drive later. Uh, but there are other variants. We have the GLS 2-wheel drive automatic 1.582M, uh, GLX 4-wheel drive manual 1.561M, uh, GLX 2-wheel drive automatic 1.383M, we have the GLX 2-wheel drive manual transmission 1.311M, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, we're back with the athlete. So moving down uh, over here, all new design. Yes, as you can see, it's a very different look uh, from the outgoing Strada bolder and tougher look yes yes one thing i like about the triton is look it's a top mount turbo so it's very easy to access your wastegate is over here uh there's like a water line that goes over there uh your intercooler pipes are just over here so it's very easy to service uh somewhere down the line if you intend to like modify it or like you know 10 years from now if you need to do some maintenance it's just there very very easy all right so over here we had the all new high power engine the newly developed 2.4 liter bi-turbo diesel engine so yes this also reduces the turbo lag thanks to the two-stage design so this new power plant is capable of producing 204 ps or that's around 200 horsepower ps and horsepower are very close uh, when it comes to conversion and it has 270 newton meters of maximum torque responsive and more powerful than ever Okay, plot twist. I'm doing the website review after I've driven the car, and I, and I can say this is this is correct. It is actually very correct. And then we have the all new chassis and suspension, rigorously tested to provide increased strength and reduce overall weight. Improved suspension design with new shock absorption system ensures excellent comfort, even in the harshest terrain. Once again, spoiler alert. This is actually pretty good. I I I, I like this new shock absorber system. Yeah, going down, do you imagine interior? Yeah, interior is pretty good. Uh, I felt pretty uh, luxurious inside. Uh, we've got a uh, new audio system. It's got uh, Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. And then we have forward collision mitigation, FCM. We have rear cross traffic alert, RCTA. Here we can you can watch a video. And you can, there's also a virtual showroom in the website that you can check out. So, oh, here are the variants again and the prices. You can pause the video here if you guys want to see. And other than that, yeah, that's pretty much the website. Oh, here. Yeah, here's the rally car that they have for the Asia Cross Country Rally 2023. We actually have a replica of this here in the country also. Uh, you'll also see that later in the video. So, on to the test drive, guys. Okay, in a weird turn of events, uh, they're still busy with the Triton Athlete. So, they gave me the keys to another 
Triton Athlete. But this one is the one over there, the race car replica. So I guess we get to drive that first. Oh, my car, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, it's Weeb Trash, Kita Sun Black, Uma Musume, whatever. But yeah, we are here today for this, not for that. So let's get to it. It's very nice. As a wrap, uh, kind of red chrome ish, camo ish wrap. Ooh, it's got bride buckets. It's rally art. Wow, it's so cool. So we'll do one quick walk around. It's got off road tires, it's got mud flaps. Ooh, reverse camera. So that's where that is. All right. Okay, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries engine and turbocharger. Oh, over here we have another camera. Interesting. So this is a replica, so other than the bucket seats, the wrap, and the tires, this is a stock uh, Triton Athlete. So it'll be similar to the car we're gonna drive later. Alright, so let's drive the thing. So it has the button thing on the door, so we will need to press on the key. Auto folding side mirrors, nice. There you go. Let's go inside. Oh, bucket seat. Alright, need to get ready for this. Ugh. Putting my pants up. Getting in the car. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the bucket seat is pretty low. Of course, there's no adjustment because it's the bucket seat. All right. Closing the door. Where is our push start button? There. All right. There we go. And it's a big chunky boy. So far, throttle is very responsive. That is very good. Right steering is oh there's the athlete that's what we need to test drive later. Steering is good. Uh, there's not much play, though uh, the steering ratio is akin to your typical pickup and uh, SUV. So it's not quick, but that's a good thing because if you have quick steering in the car as tall as this, uh, things might happen. So yes. I understand why the steering ratio should be like not that quick. This car is pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable. Oh, well, suspension is very compliant, huh? It's not jarring at all so far. Okay, intersection, alright. Look at the rotonda. We'll do power on uphill, so we'll see that torque. This thing has 200 horsepower ish and 400 newton meters of torque. That is a lot of torque, guys. Rotonda is too far. I'm gonna make a U turn here already. Oh, yeah, turning radius, turning radius. <gasps> turning radius is pretty good. Look at that. Whoa, rough road, rough road. Bam, no slowing down. Yeah, baby. Not bad, not bad. And we go quickly here through these section of turns. See how she does it, or how she handles it. Oh, not bad, not bad. It's not uh, sketchy at all, even at these higher speeds. Turn over here. Bad, not bad. Oh, there you go, the uh, oh, transmission automatically downshifted. Let's floor it. Oh, that torque, baby! Flooring it, flooring it. There we go. Oh, it's a very steep uphill, by the way, guys. Not bad. It has the power, definitely. Sharp corners, chuck it to the right. Not bad, not bad. Fairly flat and predictable. Uh, th th there's, there's no like sketchiness to the suspension. It's very sure-footed. There's no like lull as it weight shifts. Very nice, very nice. Very, very steep uphill from a crawl. Flooring it. Oh, not bad. Oh, 
<laughs> Definitely has the, pardon the pun, the pickup. <laughs> oh, not bad at all, not bad at all. But yeah, but this is the race car replica, so it might not be uh, an accurate representation of the actual test unit. Uh, the people who are shooting there first, wait for them to finish, then we'll have our turn with the actual athlete, the stock one. Yeah, turning radius is good. Turning radius is definitely good. Reverse camera. Let's go test out that river. Oh, cool, it has a 360. <gasps> That's nice, it has 360. Do I still trust my side mirrors more? But uh, that, that, that's, that's nice to know that it has a 360 camera. Oh, with sensors also, nice, nice, nice. All right. <laughs> let's wait for the <laughs> actual unit now. So let's take a thumbnail just in case. There, clickbait. Time to make a clickbait thumbnail. All right, guys. So we na tayo ng ulan. It's raining and it's already 5:10. So let's make this quick, shall we? Quick preview. So the pickup truck is very okay in size. I thought in my head it would be so much bigger than it is right now. But uh, good thing it's not too big, so it's still good for our Philippine roads. Okay, we go over here. We have the backup camera, and we've got this really quirky rectangular uh, fuel gate over there. Uh, we've got leaf spring, live axle, rear suspension, and double wishbone front suspensions. Oh wait, before we go on a drive, here's a quick peek of the interior in front and at the rear. Uh, ooh, pretty fancy with its orangeness. Wait, one quick test of the recline. Not bad, not bad. Is it, is it reclinable? Oh, it looks like it's not reclinable. I'll confirm if it is. Uh, but the angle is okay. I wish it would be a bit more reclined, but uh, it's good as it is. Good as good, good as it is. Okay, let's go to the driver's seat. Let's see. All right, gonna put my bags over here at the passenger seat. Very nice steps all over there. Very easy for me to get in. All right, closing the door. It has electric seats and uh, tilt and telescopic steering. All right, very good, nice. Push start, so I'll put the keys over here. Start, stop. Okay, very good. Put my seatbelt on. Okay, let's cap it to like 10 minutes, guys. <laughs> Need to bring this car back here. Uh, here's our radio infotainment system, nice. We have our mode select over here, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive LC and four-wheel drive LLC. Very nice. But I don't think we need to touch that right now since we're only driving on the street. We'll leave it in two-wheel drive mode. So, right, putting it in drive, handbrake down, mirrors are good. Okay, and then off we go. So, on, over here on our steering wheel, we have controls. That's nice. Looks like this is for our uh, uh, cruise control, and this is for our infotainment system, the volume, and all that. Over here, this is a map. Note that this is not connected to my phone yet, and we already have a map here. So, I guess there's a built in GPS device. For the steering, uh, it's the ratio is what you'd expect from a, from a pickup slash SUV. It's not that quick, but it's it's adequate. And there is very minimal to no play at all, so that's very good. Uh, the wipers, wipers pretty good. That's nice. Uh, and then let's try our manual mode. Let's go check how quick the transmission is. Okay, we don't have paddle shifters. Okay, three, two, uh, three, two, one, downshift. Oh, not bad. Three, two, one, downshift. I doesn't want to downshift. Okay, we're going too fast. We'll go to this corner first over here. All right, turning left. Okay, we're in second gear. Three, two, one, shift to third. Not bad. Three, two, one, shift. Okay, it doesn't want to go to fourth because we're going too slow. Okay, going, to, going down to second. Three, two, one, shift. Not bad. The transmission is actually quite responsive. Okay, so we're going down the hill, it's raining, uh, quite a bit of a blind spot over here, a pillar is a bit big, uh, but manageable, most cars today have this big ass blind spot anyway, we're third, transmission shifts quickly, downshift, turn left, going down here, 
and uh, the Triton is actually quite comfortable at like not slow speeds of course we're not at racing speeds but like uh, you'd expect a car this big to like go slower in these sort of uh, like terrain like right, right now doing downhill on the right we're doing like how fast are we going 60 and then it, the suspension is taking it there's very minimal body roll and the suspension actually settles very quickly there's no floatiness to it at all uh, it gives me the confidence to actually pick up the pace here like even by a little bit more over here just go through here the, the shock absorber so far at this speed in this scenario uh, is very well tuned uh, not bad not bad so there we went through a bump quite comfortable it does have that slight judder from a ladder frame chassis but again that's expected that's to be expected because it's a pickup you know not buying a sports car here here rough roads go over it oh that's pretty good that was pretty good didn't really feel that really didn't hurt at all going down over here we're going to a rotunda all right okay turning left here in the rotunda going at responsible speeds over here all right and going back up actually let's do a u-turn test uh, this is like a four lane road here max and i'm gonna max the steering wheel to the left over here oh we're actually going to hit this center island with the max lock so that means this car has excellent turn radius and that's really good for something this big because you know the philippine roads are small as it is you need all the steering lock that you're gonna get this is not even maximum lock yet so i'm happy to announce that the steering lock on this thing very good very adequate for philippine roads let's go uphill what gear, what gear are we in okay we're in first uh really steep hill by the way i'm gonna floor it oh the power oh i i the, the rear slipping a bit of course because uh it's kind of raining it's wet traction's kind of low right now we had a little bit of wheel spin oh uh, here off-road going through it not slowing down at all whoa whoa not bad not bad oh the shocks aren't bad though. the shocks aren't bad at all uh, it's it's catching the chassis very well I'm going through this dirt patch over here BAM not a problem there's a bit of a shimmy uh, and that's just because there's a lot of suspension travel so that's, that's what we feel as the chassis goes like that and again we're going at speed here we're going like 50 60 in the rain in this quite narrow area and the suspension is very confident uh, if I were to describe it like that but of course, again, I'm not driving this like a race car. It's not a race car, of course, it's a pickup truck. But the mere fact that I'm able to drive it confidently at this speed, and it's it's very behaved, actually. It's, it's raining, for God's sake. Not bad at all. We're flooring it. Floor, 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 floor. Go corner. Dive the brakes. Turn it in. Steering is very sure. I know where the front tires are pointing exactly. And we're flooring it. Traction control is helping me in this... Uh, uh, really 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 bad raining weather I turn I floor it let's see if the traction control comes in yep the traction control is coming in preventing us some tail out action very nice very nice uh, drive modes is there like a okay normal uh, I'm looking for the fun button is there a fun button hold on okay uh, here we have our uh, white window controls over here uh, LLC drive mode, two wheel drive, push. I wonder where the traction control is. Well, we'll figure that out some other day if we actually get a test unit of one of these. Uh, but for now, again, we only have 20 minutes. Gotta give this back. Here we have a right quick right turn. Just chuck it in like so. And then we go to the left. Chassis is very surprisingly confident. And we just go up the hill back to the clubhouse at speed <laughs> not bad we're doing 80 no no it's, it's very relaxed very stable just to summarize things uh, i like it so far at least in that little section i i actually enjoy driving it as a driving enthusiast um though again i'm not driving it as a race car some of you guys might say oh it's a race car no 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 it's not a pickup very much a pickup the steering ratio is not that quick but I am very surprised at the damping and how I could actually fly through the imperfections and the body just has this one motion. It goes on top, then it settles. It doesn't wallow or like 
like stay floating the suspension quickly tightens up again and you know exactly what the car and chassis is doing so not bad not bad at all so I'm gonna get back now while there's still some sunlight left there I know there's another media unit or another media team that needs to uh, explore this car so let's give it to them not bad I, I, I kind of like it it's like a it, it's a pickup but it's like a refined pickup all right guys that concludes our quick drive around of the new Mitsubishi Triton so yes due to time constraints that's all we were able to do uh, but hopefully we get a land out for Mitsubishi one of these days and I can go more in depth on what I feel about the new Mitsubishi Triton it drives drives good drives good I, I would I would drive this around everywhere it's, it's fun it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun hopefully we do get a land out soon uh, like the one week land out of this car so we can do a more in-depth video of all the features and all the other stuff but as it is right now it's good it's good the power the tech the comfort not bad not bad at all so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video whatever that video might be